Hi! Today I'm going to talk about calculating the number of shares to be reserved for issuance in an emerging technology company's option pool. The calculation of the stock option pool is an important topic that is sometimes overlooked by entrepreneurs until it is brought up by investors with whom they're negotiating a term sheet. In this video, I will explain what an option pool is, how to calculate the pool, and describe some of the impacts that the size of the pool may have. The option pool refers to the total number of shares that are reserved for issuance under a stock incentive plan, under which stock options and stock grants may be awarded to various persons. The purpose of the stock incentive plan and option pool is to advance the interests of the company and its shareholders by providing additional incentive to officers, directors, key employees, consultants, and other independent contractors of the company and its affiliates, upon whose judgment, initiative, and efforts the company and affiliates largely depend. Stock option pools are also a compensation tool that is frequently used by cash-trapped emerging companies. Importantly, if the company intends to raise money from professional investors, an option pool will need to be established, because as part of their investment, investors typically request a pool of a certain size to be created. Option pool sizes can be expressed in terms of a percentage. It is common to have an option pool represent 10 to 20% of the capital stock of the company. So let's say that a term sheet calls for a 20% option pool. That means that the investor wants the size of the pool to represent 20% of all the company's stock after the investor invests. The formula to calculate the number of shares to reserve for the option pool is as follows. First, take the total shares outstanding on a fully diluted basis and divide that number by the difference of 1 minus the desired percentage size of the option pool. This number represents the total number of shares outstanding on a fully diluted basis, including the option pool. Now take that number and subtract from it the total number of shares outstanding on a fully diluted basis to get the number of shares to be reserved on the option pool. So if the company has 2 million shares of common stock outstanding and issues 1 million shares of Series A preferred, to the investors under the financing, and the term sheet calls for a 20% option pool, the calculation would be as follows. 2 million plus 1 million, which represents the total outstanding shares post-financing, divided by 0 0.8, which is 1 minus 0 0.2, the desired size of the option pool, minus the total number of outstanding shares without the option pool, which is 3 million, equals 750,000. So a post-financing option pool representing 20% of the company's outstanding capital stock on a fully diluted basis, post-financing, would have 750,000 shares of common stock reserved for issuance. The size of the option pool is included in the price per share calculation. Consequently, the bigger the pool, the lower the price per share the investor is paying. So for example, what if investor X offers to buy shares at a $2 million valuation of your company? And let's say your company has 1 million shares of common stock outstanding, and zero shares reserved in its option pool. If the investor does not ask for an option pool to be created, the investor will pay $2 per share, which is $2 million divided by 1 million, which in turn is the company valuation divided by the outstanding capital stock. If the investor asks for an option pool to be created, and the option pool ends up having 250,000 shares reserved for issuance, the investor will pay $1.6 per share, which is $2 million divided by 1.25 million which is the company valuation divided by the outstanding capital stock, which now includes new option pool shares. And because the option pool is established or augmented as part of a round of investment, the investors will not be diluted. Consequently, it is typically best for the founders to think about what size option pool they will need to compensate employees and others in order to create an option pool that isn't too small or too big, so as to minimi minimize the negative effects I previously discussed. So what are the takeaways of this introduction to determining the size of your stock option pool for an emerging technology company? Emerging technology companies typically create option pools to compensate and incentivize officers, employees, directors, consultants, and other independent contractors. The size of the option pool is typically calculated as a percentage of the company's outstanding capital stock on a fully diluted basis post-financing, which is often in the range of 10 to 20%. Finally, the size of the option pool may have a significant impact on the price per share paid by an investor. I hope you have found this overview of stock option pools for an emerging technology company helpful. If you have any comments, let us know.